We were celebrating the successful bid for the Olympics. Only two weeks earlier, the threat level for the country had gone down. This was an intelligence failure. We, they came from the left field, they weren't on our radar. So you can imagine, we were chasing our tail to find out exactly what had gone on. You're only as good as what you know. What you don't know about, you can't plan for. You can only plan for the unthinkable. No one would have imagined that UK citizens with a Yorkshire accent would have been responsible for 52 killings on the streets of London for the first time as suicide bombers. We still do not have a truly national police counter-terrorism unit and also the structures within COBRA, the emergency meeting, I think need refreshing. We need a national and international footprint. We do have counter-terrorism units that are dedicated to that agenda, but they still operate across 43 police forces. There's not one person that's truly accountable. What we do have is a coordinating centre. For me, that's a fudge. We need a truly national outfit. The advantage of having one unit is you have one person in charge that cuts across all the boundaries. We've got experience in this country of running terror operations where every time we go across a false boundary, we need to renew the authority for carrying firearms, for example, or IT systems don't speak to each other. That's crazy, especially when you've got national outfits for serious crime and immigration. It should be the same for counter-terrorism. The United Kingdom is facing a very, very dangerous threat, as, it, as dangerous as it ever has been. What we need to do is be remain vigilant and not dismiss it as scaremongering.